Welcome back to my office, and we're here to do some polyphonic.org vlog recording. Things have been really great and really busy. We just had our guest artist, Jordan Worth. He was here doing percussion, and he just left actually a couple days ago and had a wonderful week here at Sheridan College. The students loved every second of having him, and it was really great, and a really great learning experience for them. It was also a really good learning experience for me because I'm learning a little bit about how to schedule guest artists when they come to visit. When he had first indicated he was coming, I was like, oh, it would be great. We'll just have as many lessons as possible, which I scheduled. How hard could it be? Now, <laughs> that was the initial thought I had, but it was actually really exhausting to have him teaching basically all day to the students. Um, if, I had, if I had a guest artist again, or when he comes back, I'll make sure that the schedule isn't quite as intense, isn't quite as active with a little bit more in terms of breaks and time off. The overall result was that it was just exhausting and by the end of the week we were really tired and uh, it was very productive, no doubt, but um, it was very tiring. Um, well, the one thing that I kind of did get right in the schedule was that we did a joint recital. He and I did a joint recital and had him playing a whole bunch of stuff. and. Um, the recital was actually on the, I think, the second or third full day that he was here, which gave us a couple of days to rehearse and then the recital. This was really good because the whole rest of the time he didn't have to worry about, oh, how can I prepare for this recital? It was already done and finished. It also brought a lot of interest at the college to people who were going to be working with him or experiencing anything that he would bring to it. Now, in programming this recital, he could have played a whole bunch of stuff that was very complicated and very music listener friendly. I mean that, you know, if you have some kind of a relative who doesn't know anything about music, they'd kind of be like, ah, that's okay. But what we did was we programmed listener-friendly music. So, for example, I played the Cloud Bowling Toot Suite, which is very, very listener-friendly and something that people could relate to. It's actually a, a theme song for a show on NPR, and um, I can't quite remember what it is. I think it's All Things Considered. One of those things that the first time I played it, you know, I was like, oh, hey, mom, listen to this. This is what I did. And I played it for her, and she's like, oh, that's a theme song from a show I listened to. And that's the connection that was easily made by the audience members. The same thing with Jordan. He played a few marimba pieces. They were more, more they were short and flashy so that people would say, wow, this is really neat. This is really cool. And, um... You know, we involved a lot of people with this performance. We used, we used a jazz combo, we used the uh, brass quintet, and all of these were elements that um, were very kind of short and sparky and flourishy, and people really liked them to get uh, their attention kind of uh, quickly drawn in. Um, this was the, one of the first chamber concerts that we've had here on campus, so we wanted to make sure it was very kind of succinct and little pockets of different things keep everyone's interest and it certainly did so I would definitely recommend that if you have a guest artist coming in and they have give you some choices as to what to perform pick stuff that it will capture the audience's attention and then program that recital early in the in the visit so that the rest of the time you can kind of feed off of the energy that the recital brought in uh, especially to the percussion students who are oh, this is great um, finally, we did have a percussion ensemble piece that was going on during this, and the students played with the instructor, which was really great. Um, Jordan is also the adjunct teacher, so he ta teaches them, um, but he was able to play with the students and do a performance, and it also shows, of course, to the administration that the students are kind of getting involved and in, in performing with these guest artists, which is really great. Now, in terms of the travel, um, I scheduled a performance down, I was very lucky to have the University of Wyoming Wind Ensemble ask me down as a guest artist, and it was actually the same day that I dropped Jordan off at the airport, and I was like, oh, I'll just drive down, how hard could it be? Again, so a lesson learned here is that uh, I ended up being just totally exhausted, and um, having him for a week and kind of taking care of him and having him stay and you know it was great fun very tiring and then having to go play again the next day or the same day I dropped him off at the airport you know I got called to play down at University of Wyoming which is in Laramie which is about a six hour drive away um, I said oh I'll just drop him off at the airport and drive out there have a rehearsal play a concert how hard, right? But it's really was really exhausting. I'm really happy I did it, but I'll know next time to say, hey, you know, maybe it's time to say, like, hey, I just got a start, guest artist leaving. I could do it the next week or something like that. So keep that in mind so you don't wear yourselves down. Um, pile that on top. We do have the concert this weekend, which is awesome, which means that this week, which is 
I guess Wednesday, Monday, I got back from Laramie. Now, mon this is concert week, and we've got recitals and juries, and uh, at the end of the weekend, Sunday, May 5th at 7 o'clock at Sheridan High School, for all those people who are watching from close by. If you're watching from far away, you know, you can be thinking of us during that time, but obviously you can't attend. Um, yeah, it's just busy, and uh, I'm not sure I'd do it this way again, but, you know, it was a great experience for the students, and in the end, of course, that's what it's all about, which is student learning. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.